if the Atlantic over here is going up and down by a really huge amount, and the Mediterranean here is just going up and down by an almost invisibly negligible amount, uh, seriously, go to a, a, a beach resort in the Mediterranean, you'll see the sun lounges and so forth. They leave them on the beach all day within a few feet of the sea, and it's fine. Anyway, if that's happening, there's a, there's a moment well, there are two moments and even four moments every day when the, 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 the water levels either side of the Gibraltar Strait are so different that surely you're going to get a vast inundation of water. Can you imagine 20 feet of water higher the whole of the Atlantic, which is enormous in comparison with the Mediterranean? Um, just think what a weight of water that is. If you were to build a scale uh, model of that in your bath, uh, with, with sand or whatever representing the land, and then you, you somehow created that sort of level of difference, that you'd get this great inrush of water shooting down the bath and, and scattering sand all over the place. So, does that happen then? Well, no, it doesn't. Uh, if it did, it would be a really famous fact. And yet, it seems that ships are able to go in both directions at all times of day, merrily in and out of the uh, Mediterranean, it doesn't seem to be a really big problem. So, how is that possible then?